Unit 34P4, design a website. You need to do this for a specific organisation to meet specific stated purposes and for a specific defined target group. This is key in order to get M&D. So basically, you've got to design a website that entertains young people and can be used for public play, education in schools, youth centres and bars, etc. across the Bradford area and beyond. Now obviously you might be thinking a young person won't be seen in a bar, but the majority target market we're hoping to be the young younger end. However, we're not saying that old people wouldn't be able to do it, so that might be our secondary target audience if you know what I mean. So the scenario is printed on your um, assignment brief, which you have not got yet, but what we are doing is designing a website for a specific organisation, which is us, so you can make up the name of that. Um, so it's a trivia website or a joke website uh, for pubs and youth clubs in the Bradford area, but we'll be able to go beyond that. There's none in the area of Bradford as yet, however there might be some globally, but we'll need to design this trivia fun website, test it, launch it all ready for the Christmas period. Um, a meeting is scheduled for you uh, before the, the Christmas holidays with an investor so you'll be able to present your work to them and they'll be able to give you funding before we promote this idea to the public and we'll be using this um, in school so we'll get a video of your site in action later. So what you need is an introduction to the task, please use the brief for that when you get it. Questionnaires to your target group, which we have done, and they look like that. And you should have already done um, a conclusion to say what our target market is. So a little bit of analysis um, to who likes what, popularities, percentages and graphs, etc. Over the holidays, I'm expecting you to do a hand-drawn design, a site map, a model design. So, so actually publishing the website, um, emailing a link to me to have a look at it and setting a strategy. Um, and I'll give you some tips um, in regard to that with some course content on. So, we need a cool site for jokes or a cool site for pub quiz trivia. So, creating a site map. Okay, success criteria, create a site map illustrating its content and a rank. Now, everything must link. Everything must link. So, you, this is a site map and basically... Um, if you didn't know, it's just a list of all the pages in the site. But as you can see, they are ranked with this would be the home page followed by subsequent pages that are linked into that page. And these pages would have a link from that page. So each one of these lines represents um, a link. I will be looking and double checking that. So I don't want that home page to go directly to here. Because then that would be up here. If you know what I'm saying so that would need to make logistical sense top tip um, do your site map first however um, if you do need to rejig it version 2's version 3's of any site map are absolutely fine it shows you in your design stages and me as a website designer would have several of these at, first of all I'd look at what the customer wants on the site and then I would might edit that depending so um, you'll need to create one of these. PowerPoint is best. Um, this is quite a good one. It doesn't have to be um, overly complicated. Everything can be annotated in uh, by roll later or pencil later, so don't worry about it. As you can see, it's home page. This has got this is a three page site, and within each of the three pages, there's three um, subsequent pages. So obviously, in total, we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pages there. Um, another site map. I actually like this one because this has got a little bit more detail on here. So it says um, homepage would contain pictures and graphics and they, and each one of them pictures and graphics would um, act as a link to the other pages. So you can see here this is another page and that would be text. Here they've put this will be maybe galleries, some contain some more pictures and about us that would have a location, a maps and address on etc. I really like this one and I'd expect you to be annotating it like this if you want to in pencil, if not um, using PowerPoint like that because that looks really good. This is mine. It took me 15 minutes, if that, okay? So I've got my homepage up here 
And from my homepage, I've got five links. So I've got general knowledge, quiz, quiz questions, history, sports, celebrities, and events. Um, within each, I've got quiz questions and quiz answers on each of the quiz areas. Here, I've decided to lock my quiz answers. So that requires a login and a password. That'll allow me to collect data and eventually I'll be able to take payment for subscriptions. So that'll be a source of revenue and which I do need um, eventually because we are a profit organization because assuming we're working for um, my business, for example. Um, here, I've just put in circles here. That might be um, advertising on this events page, so local venues. So what I might do is say, okay, in the five lane ends bar, on a Friday night, there's a quiz, quiz night. I might want to put in there that Hanson School, I've got uh, a presentation evening and fun day on July the 15th, something like that. So I might put some events in there. I've put revenue, but it, I might not charge people for advertising on here, but it would be a good source of promotion because I'd like to think that Hanson School would say, as seen on this quiz site. Um, Alternatively, I could banner adverts or pop-ups that could just like pop up. So on the app or um, on the website, something could pop up, which would be an advertising banner, and those adverts um, would pay me um, for every so for every visitor, I'm, I might get ten p something like that. So that'd be good. We'll discuss um, names of the site and revenue later. A storyboard in your website does help visualize the final product. Uh, it's also a time saver and cost effective. In terms of website design, the more you understand from your customer, the better, because you don't want to, them to, to tell you what kind of site they want. You do the site and they'll think, oh, that's not what I had in my head. Sometimes it's easier to write it all down on paper first so that they've almost agreed it at that stage. So anything can be changed. Um, it's dead easy to delete or add a slide or a text box, isn't it? Rather than edit a load of pages. It also helps consistency and continuity over the whole site if you've thought about it in advance. And that is what I need to see from the, you, that you've thought about how your site will look before you've created the site. And this is a sample of somebody's coursework from a long time ago. And they've even gone into so much detail. They've even put the colour codes in, you know, what they're like. So the rose, the purple. And um, when Miss Kadri did her uh, recruitment website, she was very adamant on the purple that she wanted on her banner. And it was good that I got the code um, from the purple. So here she's she got roughly how these pages would look, where photos were, what kind of text, etc. And from that, you can see um, where, where she links. And obviously this is, um, this is like um, an ICT one. But that links to her assignment one and her assignment two. So she's put all her assignments in this um, in this site, her, her own portfolio. What I want you to do is use um, whatever web package you want to do. I am not saying you go home and you do loads of coding. You don't have to do that. I would use one of the free websites that are available online. So Winx or Webs. Don't forget your password. Whatever you do in case it does need changing, updating or editing, um, you've got quite a while for this task. Make sure you select a good theme that is appropriate for our target market because you will need to justify that later. It must look like your hand-drawn designs and coordinate with your site map. Um, and we'll start adding co content uh, over the holidays. Should be dead easy. I'm just expecting you to add jokes or your trivia questions. You are not getting marks on your content, it's the design. Whether this would appeal to a real youth club who wanted to run a quiz, that is what I'm looking at. So what I'm expecting you to hand in is hand-drawn design or designs, site map or site maps, the actual design with a link to me so I can view it and I can have a nosy at this website before I see you after the holidays. And set a strategy, so just going over a couple of pieces of course content, which I'll go through with you now. I want a business objective. What is your overall objective? This may be to, to incorporate some revenue in there, so it might be profits. It's a private organisation. You can say you subcontracted to me, um, which would be Russola LLP, and what you are doing is 
essentially trying to make money. This is a business. This is an entrepreneurial enterprise that you can um, take on board as a freelance website designer. Your marketing objectives are going to be smaller steps within your first year. It might be to get 300 visitors within your first year. It might be to get so many likes on Facebook. It might be to have uh, 50 quiz sheets downloaded. It might be to um, get at least two advertisers on board, five events logged in the events section, for example. Customer profile, who your customers are and with data. So the majority of your customers are between ages X to Y. 90% of them use mobiles or whatever. You must coordinate that to your actual data research, which you've already done, so it should be easy. Technical environment, um, are you using a PC, laptop, tablet, Mac? What are you using to design it and what will be used to view your website? A lot of the websites online are mobile compatible. So what will happen is um, when you do it on the PC, if you use a mobile, it'll automatically switch to mobile site view or it will just shrink um, as a percentage to screen. So you don't have to scroll everywhere, but find that out. Whatever one you use, it should tell you um, their method to be mobile compatible. Um, and then what we'll do later on is we'll uh, test it on all four of them devices listed there. What do customers expect from your website? You might want to speak to some people and ask what they expect. Do they expect a downloadable quiz sheet? Do they expect um, uh, the quiz quizzes and answers to be updated daily, weekly, monthly? Um, that might um, form a little bit of research and discussion. It might be different from an user to user, so find something out for that. And what will your website actually provide? There's one thing, isn't there what the customer wants, but then there's another thing that you can provide. A customer might want a detailed quiz sheet with answers on. They might want to download one for the quiz master, one for the users. It might want to have spaces for you to input your answers. Or does it just want to be one of these where you read a joke and you click reveal and it'll reveal the answer? Does it is it online or is it something that they can use? in a different format or both um, but what your site will actually do um, is what you need to describe in point six um, and then finally competitor websites does anyone else provide the same service is anyone else similar can you compare that to yours how do they differ um, what's your unique selling point in that respect so it'll be a little mini strategy report to get you going on the first bit of the unique content over the holidays and I cannot wait to see your finished website designs. Send me the link as soon as you've done them. Thank you. Bye.